on the seventh play of the drive as Tennessee's now in the Vanderbilt red zone. Bayless Jones makes a defender miss, first and goal volunteers. Tennessee has only made 11 trips during this six game losing streak. And on second and goal, fake, touchdown, wide open is Princeton fan. And it culminates with the first touchdown reception for another Nashville guy, Princeton fan. 12th play of the drive. Over the middle, wide open. Touchdown, Cam Johnson. Onto the field. Now last week, two weeks ago rather, she made history as the first female to ever kick off at the Power Five level. Now she can be the first to make an extra point at the Power Five level. Right through there. More history on display for the Vanderbilt Commodores. Harrison Bailey in Tennessee back on offense going to work and wide open is Jalen Hyatt down the sideline for a big game. What a huge turn of events by the Commodore defense. Ball's been coming after Seals. He's been picking up those blitzes, and he throws a perfect dime to Amir Abdur Rahman, who carries Alante Taylor with him inside the 30-yard line. But this is a 39-yard attempt for the junior from Michigan. And it's right through there. JT Shrout went to over there, obviously, with quarterbacks coach Chris Winkie. Here's it's another fake. fake, again, just like last week. And it's a first down to Hyatt, who stays in bounds down the sideline. Make that toe of toe. Ability to establish some consistency on that side of the football. Third and four picked off. Stepping in front is Bryce Thompson. Touchdown. Thanks to the junior with his second interception of the season, giving the Volunteers the lead again in Nashville. A UT freshman record for yards rushing in a single game. He's out of the game. Shrout goes to the sideline. Bayless Jones makes the catch and is marked out of bounds inside the one. Would have been established out of bounds. That left foot, that's inbounds. That's a touchdown. There's Shroud again, throwing another bullet, and it's a touchdown strike to Jalen Hyatt. Thompson with a pick six earlier in the quarter, and now Jalen Hyatt also. Suddenly they're down 18. Henry Brooks, best run of the game, and he's past the 40-yard line. That was one of those possessions where you think, gosh, you come away with seven. That's a 14-point swing. Seals under pressure. Somehow stays on his feet. It's a first down into Tennessee territory, but loses the football. And the doors get it back with 17 seconds remaining. Along with Theo Jackson and Burrell at the bottom of the screen. Inside handoff to Henry Brooks. He'll carry volunteers with him with three seconds left. The difficulties they've had on offense, establishing scoring drives, but seeding points to their opponents here in this third quarter. So it's Bailey again, play action down the field, wide open, and it's Jalen Hyatt. At the right guard spot. Chandler to the end zone, touchdown. Easiest 20 yard run you'll ever see from the guy that went to high school down the street at NBA. Little counter play, Trey Smith comes across the formation. Princeton Fant, elite blocker. So it is a first down since it was after the play. And Jabari Small gets his 20th carry of the season after a first down reception. Carries the Commodores out to the 30 yard line. Four and a half yet to play a football and then he's gonna get ready for that final exam in computer engineering. Guy's got a lot going on. 
Second and eight, nice throw. Catch made by the freshman Jimmy Callaway. Yeah, it's a unique set of circumstances here in 2020. Gray flips it back to Shrout. Shrout's in trouble, and Anthony Orgy says, enough of this. <laughs> Bailey on third and nine from a muddy pocket. It's got no place to go. Hog tied by Nate Clifton, first sack of the year. Defense has done an excellent job outside of the yards they hemorrhaged in the second quarter. Shrout facing some pressure, throws a pick. Coming back the other way is Judy Lolly. He's had a heck of a game. There's a coach that's had some modicum of success versus Alabama. Henry Brooks takes off. One of his better runs of the night. He's over 50 yards rushing now. Seals. That's caught. Touchdown. <laughs> Somehow that's fit into Bresnahan for his fourth touchdown of the season. Doors in there still slinging it. How did that ball make it through Crouch's arms? Wow. He had it in his hands. Ends up in Bresnahan's. Sarah Fuller already made history, becoming the first female to connect on an extra point at the Power Five and SEC level. She's got two of them. Toby went to Brentwood Academy, not Brentwood High School. Across the middle, nice pass by Bailey, and look at this. Bayless Jones bounces off of Andy Defender's house call. Another explosive play for Tennessee in this game. Yeah, he just kind of weathers the storm. Here comes a couple of shots, nobody wraps up. Bayless Jones sprints his way to the end zone. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.